Peyton, how would you evaluate your summer league game today? Uh, I think it was good. I think it was good. Most importantly, I think that there's things to build on, get better at, and that's the most important thing. We're going to have another opportunity to get back at it, get in the gym, and go over everything that we did and come out with a, next, uh, a win next time. Oh, a lot of the coaches have talked about you playing within the flow of the system, playing within your game. How did you execute that? I think very well. You know, uh, I could do a lot of things, so sometimes it gets hard for me to narrow it down and kind of find my niche on the court, but that's something I've really been working on this past year, and I just feel so much more comfortable. I feel like everything's coming in the flow of the game, and I, I feel like I'm getting better. What do you think that niche is? Like, what do you think you're trying to narrow it down to? Uh, honestly, it's just going to be on what the team needs, honestly. Um, I feel like I could really, really come in and affect the game on defense. I think that's my niche right now, just having energy defensively, um, getting those blocks, getting those steals, and uh, giving our team some energy. What do you think of Hunter's game, and what have you thought of him as you know, a teammate going back to like the last week of practices and the lead-up to tonight? Uh, it was a hell of a game from him. Uh, he's a big-time player. And he's, he's a competitor, first and foremost. As soon as the game started, you could just see his intensity and how focused he was. So it was great to see him out there. And um, he'll be fun to watch all summer league. Did you know he had that kind of attitude, like getting fired up in the way that he did in that game? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I've seen it in practice a little bit. Honestly, today he kind of surprised me, though. He looked like uh, Hunter Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Did he learn it from you? I don't think so. I think that's something that's in you or it isn't, you know? When, uh, when Bruce left, did you see that as kind of uh, a chance for you to step up next season? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Bruce was a huge, huge player for us, played a lot, and he played a crucial role for us. So just with that spot opening up, it's a lot of opportunity out there, and I'm just looking to um, take whatever I can and uh, build on it. How have you been communicating with the rookies and the guys that just inked new deals with the Nuggets? Uh, just being open to them, telling them about all my experiences on and off the court, things that I had to go through as a rookie, things that were hard for me. So hopefully that, that way they can learn from what I maybe did wrong or mis a mistake I made and, you know, get better from that. What were some of the things that were hardest about the rookie year? Some of, the, some of those things that you point out? Uh, definitely for me, it was just an adjustment on the professionalism side, you know, especially when you're with world-class guys like Joker, um, Jeff Green, you know, those are guys who just come in every day, do exactly what they're supposed to do, and I learned a lot from those guys. What did it mean to you to look courtside and see five, six of your teammates there cheering you on? It was big time. It was big time to see their support. Um, made me want to play that much harder because they were there. And also just them being able to see me in a free environment, in a free setting, you know, practices are usually pretty um, specific and we go over game plans. So just to, the, to see me in a game setting, I feel like it was good for them. Did any of them reach out and let you know that they were coming and they were going to watch you play? Yeah, absolutely. I knew that they were coming. Uh, they had been telling me all week, supporting me. So I was ready to come out and play for them. What have your thoughts on uh, Julian Strother so far? I love Julian. I love Julian first as a person, but on the court, he just plays the right way. He can shoot it, he can pass, and he's versatile. You know, he could play the two or the three, so he's going to be a, uh, a matchup nightmare, I feel like, for those smaller twos.